Welcome to the Go Quick Pen Tour. This training is designed to teach patients how to administer growth hormone therapy with the Go Quick Pen. Whether you're a young child, a teenager, or an adult, whether you're taking growth hormone for the first time or transitioning from a previous pen, this DVD will guide you through the process and answer commonly asked questions. Will I be able to do it by myself? Can I get it right every time? What if my child is a little afraid? How will it change my life? Questions like these from patients just like you helped us create the wonderfully straightforward Go Quick Pen. For example, Go Quick is pre-filled, so you use it until empty and then just start a new one. It's also pre-settable. That means you only have to set the dose in the memory once. Afterwards, just match the preset dose to get it right. And finally, it's predictable. In three easy steps, it helps you deliver the dose simply and reliably every time. Go Quick is made to fit into your life. The Go Quick pen comes in different colors to represent different strengths. The blue pen is 5.3 milligrams or 16 international units, and the purple is 12 milligrams or 36 international units. Your doctor will give you the pen with the right strength for you. All pens are used and prepared the same way, but today we'll use the blue pen to demonstrate both the initial setup and everyday use. If you are a parent of a young patient, please make sure you supervise the injection process. They may need a little push to boost their confidence, especially at the beginning of treatment. Over time, you may both be comfortable enough to transition to self-injection. When you're ready to self-inject, please watch the next section. In this one-time initial setup training, you'll learn how to use your pen properly for the first time. The Go Quick Pen may also come with an optional needle guard that hides the needle from those patients who are apprehensive about injections. Before setting up the pen, check that you have these parts. A Go Quick Pen, a pen needle, a safety box to discard the needles, and a needle guard. Now let's proceed to put the needle on the pen. Always wash your hands before handling the Go Quick Pen and needles. First, take off the white cap. Next, pull the little tab to remove the seal on the needle. Firmly grasp the cartridge holder and push the needle onto the cartridge. Now screw the needle onto the pen and be careful not to over tighten. Leave both needle covers on. The medicine in the cartridge comes in two parts, liquid and powder, which need to be mixed together. To do so, hold the pen with the point up. Make sure to see the letter A in the notch. Twist the top on the pen to the right until the letter B clicks into the notch. Now slowly tilt the pen from side to side. Don't shake the pen because this could damage the medicine. Make sure the medicine is clear. If the medicine is cloudy, tilt the pen again. If it's still cloudy, don't use it. Once the medicine is mixed, you need to remove the air from the pen. Take off the outer needle cover and put it somewhere safe, as you will use it later. Again, point the pen up. Gently tap the top of the pen and watch for any bubbles moving up. Once all the air bubbles have risen to the top, twist the top of the pen to the right once more. This time, twist until the letter C clicks into the notch. Don't worry if a little medicine leaks from the top. This is okay. After you've removed the air, you can attach the needle guard to hide the needle from sight. Take the black cap off the needle guard. If the needle shield comes out, push it back in. Next, align the black logo on the needle guard with the blue logo on the pen. Once aligned, push the needle guard onto the pen until it clicks into place. Be careful of the capped needle that will still be poking through at the bottom. The next step is priming the pen, which simply gets the pen ready for use. Begin by pulling off the inner needle cover and throwing it away. Be careful not to touch the needle. Not only is it sharp, but you need to keep it clean. When using the blue pen, 
make sure that the number in the memory window is 0.1 milligrams. For the purple pen, the number is 0.3 milligrams. After this, turn the gray dial in the direction of its arrow until it won't click anymore. Hold the pen straight up and push the colored injection button. Watch for liquid coming out from the needle at the top. It's possible that the liquid may not appear the first time. If so, try priming the pen again two times. If liquid still doesn't appear, don't use the pen. Press the black button on the needle guard to release the needle shield. We're almost at the half point of the initial setup. Remember, you only have to do this once with every new pen. Let's continue. Next, you must set the dose of the pen by turning the black ring here. Take care not to turn the gray dial while you do this. Turn the black ring until the right dose lines up with the white pointer. Your doctor will tell you what your dose is. If you turn the ring past the white pointer, just turn the black ring back to the correct dose. Always check that you have the right dose. It's very important that you don't change the dose unless your doctor tells you to. Sometimes the black ring doesn't turn. Don't worry if this happens. Just push the injection button again until it stops clicking. Then try to turn the black ring again. Now that you've set the dose, you need to make sure the right amount of growth hormone is ready to use. Turn the gray dial in the direction of the arrows until the clicking stops. Your dose on the black rod should line up with the white pointer. Make sure the number in the black rod is the same as the number in the memory window. If the doses don't match, Click the gray dial in the direction of the arrow until it doesn't click anymore. Now we're at the point of giving the injection, but first prepare the injection site as directed by your doctor or nurse. Then push the pen straight down into the skin. Use your thumb to push the injection button down until it stops clicking. Count for five seconds before you pull the needle straight up out of the skin. Keep light pressure on the button with your thumb while you count. That's it, the injection is finished. Now that the needle's been used, you need to remove it. Remember the outer needle cover you saved? Bring it out now. To dispose of the needle with the needle guard on, simply push the outer needle cover into the end of the needle guard until it locks into place. Unscrew the needle using the outer needle cover by twisting left. Please throw away the used needle in a safe disposal box to protect your family. In daily use, you can leave the needle guard on the pen and just put the black cap on after each injection. This lets you stand the pen up. You should always store your pen in the refrigerator after use. Remember not to throw away the needle guard. The needle guard is reusable and designed to last, so you only get one needle guard with your starter kit. This reduces the amount of waste. Each pen lasts up to 28 days once mixed. After 28 days, discard the pen even if some medicine is left. It's important to note that depending on the dose of growth hormone required, more than one pen may be used during the 28-day period. Your doctor or nurse will discuss this with you. Remember, whenever you open a new GoQuick pen, you have to perform the one-time initial setup before using it. Now that you've learned this key procedure, you're ready to administer your growth hormone injection every day. The beauty of the GoQuick pen is that once set up, it delivers the correct dose in three easy steps every day. First, attach the needle. Second, dial up the preset dose. And third, give the injection. Attach, dial up, inject. That's it. Simple to remember and simple to do. The best and most effective time to use your GoQuick pen is before going to bed at night, which takes advantage of the same cycle that natural growth hormones go through. As to what part of the body should be injected, that may vary over time and from patient to patient. So this is best handled during your conversations with your healthcare team. You will be happy to know that the GoQuick needles are as thin as a hair, so the injection shouldn't really hurt. Kids can also personalize their pen with stickers provided in the Go Quick patient materials. They make the pen a little more appealing and fun for them. 
The Go Quick Pen Guide can answer frequently asked questions and provide guidance should a problem arise. You can also reach out to the person who first trained you in the use of the pen. But remember, the printed materials and this DVD are to be used as reference and refresher. For treatment questions, always ask your doctor. Since you will be using it every day, it's important to look after your GoQuick pen. Here are some tips to keep it working right. When storing your pen, remember, never store it with the needle still on. Store it with the pen cap or needle guard attached. Always keep it in the refrigerator, but never in the freezer area. If traveling, store your pen in an insulated bag with a cold pack, then return to a refrigerator as soon as you can. Once the growth hormone is mixed, your pen may be used up to 28 days. Don't use it after 28 days, even if there is still medicine left. Throw it away after the expiration date. When caring for your pen, don't mix the growth hormone without a needle on the pen. Keep your pen away from light, dust, and dirt. Don't drop your pen. Clean your pen and needle guard with a dry cloth, but do not put your pen in water. Follow your doctor's directions to properly discard used needles. If your pen appears damaged, do not use it. It may seem challenging at first, but the more you perform the initial setup and do the three simple daily steps, the more reassured you'll become. To wrap up the Go Quick Pen Tour, let's do a quick review of the two procedures necessary to use the pen. With every pen, there's a one-time initial setup that consists of attaching the needle, mixing the growth hormone, and removing the air bubbles. You do this by twisting the cartridge to the A, B, and C positions and tapping the pen. If you have the optional needle guard, you may attach it to the pen now. After that, you go on priming the pen and setting the dose. Next step is dialing up your dose by matching to the number you previously set in the memory window. You finish by prepping the injection site as directed by your doctor or nurse and administering the injection. To do that, push the pen into the skin, press the color button, and hold for five seconds before pulling the pen straight up. After that, remove the used needle, then discard it safely before recapping the pen and storing it in the refrigerator. For a detailed animation of this procedure, go to sections 3 or 5 in this DVD. The second procedure consists of the three simple steps you'll take every day to administer the growth hormone with the Go Quick pen. You start by attaching the needle. The only difference between these two images is that with the needle guard, you will not see through to the cartridge that contains the medicine. Next is dialing up the preset dose. Here, you make sure the dose marked on the black rod is the same as the dose you set in the memory window during initial setup. Thirdly, after prepping the skin, you push the pen into the site to give the injection. Remember to hold for five seconds. As you see here, the difference is that the needle guard covers the cartridge and needle while the injection is being administered. Afterwards, just remove the needle and replace the white cap before storing your pen in the refrigerator. We hope this Go Quick Pen Tour has been useful in helping you to set up your new pen and deliver the first dose. At this point, you may be wondering, can I ever get used to injecting growth hormone? Absolutely! I'm a big boy, I can do it! They've really made it easy for us. We're confident you can with Go Quick, one of the fastest, simplest, most reliable experiences you can have while undergoing growth hormone therapy. Here's to success in your treatment, and please watch this instructional DVD as many times as you need.